Well, PB&J finds us in Green, Texas, and this place is in the heart of Texas, and it's about old school Texas as it gets. And Green, Texas is home to Green Hall. It's the oldest music and dance hall that's still operating in the state. Now, Pat bought it in the mid-1970s, and his goal was to not change the cool atmosphere you're gonna find inside. Definitely, when you see this place, you'll agree, it's not just another PB&J. <laughs> Because it's the oldest honky tonk in Texas, man. Texas music, Texas people, it's a good time. Sure, they filmed the movie here. John Travolta filmed the movie here in the mid 90s. But it's not about Hollywood, it's all about the music. It's amazing the, 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 the entertainment that comes through here. <laughs> the music is fantastic. You can't read it. You'll get somebody that's just playing in the front room and you'll come in here to go, oh my gosh, he is just awesome. It's a pretty good breeding ground yeah. for a lot of people. This is where every big music person comes yeah. before they get huge. The musicians aren't just good, they are legendary. The first one comes to mind, Lyle Lovett used to play for free. George Strait. Robert Earl. Willie, Jerry Jeff. I saw Ray Riley Hunt here probably 10 years ago, that was pretty cool. But, uh, you know, Jerry Lee Lewis has been here. And Robert King. Pat Green, I've seen here. So. Hal Ketchum was our carpenter for a number of years. And Who hasn't played here? And if somebody told me um, 34 years ago that I was going to meet some of these people, I would have thought they were crazy. Well, crazy is common around Green Hall. Now, stockbroker to a uh, dance hall owner, was this a, a childhood <laughs> dream or did you just wake up one day? I went to University of Texas. You know, I like drinking a few beers back then. I would. We all do. One of my buds said, you know, you're the only guy that majored in what he was really going to do. You know? Do you have some favorites that have come through these doors that you personally just couldn't wait for the show to arrive? We booked Little Richard, but he went and got in a limo in front of the office, which is 40 yards. Drove around, we laid him back in the beer garden, and he walked in the side door, crawled up on the piano, got up on the stool, and started singing Good Golly, Miss Molly. And I just, probably the most famous and the most successful Western singer ever is this guy right here. George Strait. And uh, that's George's first album cover. What you get when you walk through Historic Green is you realize right away that they didn't want this town to really grow up and change, and they've kept it really rustic. It's down to earth, you know, from the restaurant. It's just got a cool laid back feel, brick exposed to the dance hall. It is exactly how it was in the 70s when Pat bought it, and it probably will be this way for 20, 30, 40, 50 more years to come. Everything about the uniqueness of Green Hall is just wonderful, and I hope nothing has changed here whatsoever. It has character. Is that the charm to Green Hall? Oh, definitely. And a place with this much character is certain to attract some very cool people. Then that, uh, that's a good story. She, uh, you know, I'm just roaming around in some truck I couldn't pay for, and I'd see this little hippie chick come rolling in in a, who knows what, 1960 Volvo. It got beautiful long hair down the back. I'm looking for a job. I used to kayak on the river. Oh, really? And this was a takeout place down here at the bridge. And we would come up here and drink a beer and call someone to come pick us up. That was 1975, you know. She's still here, and it's, wow. it's awesome. I, I tease her, she's like the soul of Green Hall, you know. quickly found out that people coming to Green Hall come from everywhere. People come, people come from Britain, Germany, we get all types. If you uh, serve beer to a lot of people in the world, um, you're beer lingual. Beer lingual. No need to ride your horse up, everyone's welcome at Green Hall. There are also a few locals that wear sandals and shorts and no cowboy hat, but I do have those. And this joint's had some legendary musicians and one legendary local. When I bought the joint, there was this old timer named Frank Slaughter. When you bought Green Hall, you got Frank with you. Came with the deal. <laughs> right, we still do Frank Slaughter Day. Actually, when I bought the joint, beer was 35 cents. And Frank paid 35 cents until you know, he quit drinking. Wow. Which he, he never, I think he quit drinking a couple days before he left us. <laughs> so he had a good price. If you wear a Frank t-shirt or something, you, you drink for Frank prices all day. And then, you know, it's just a fun deal to, because a lot of old timers really remember Frank. There's Frank. I'm coming back for 35 cent beer day.
And of course, where there's music, there's going to be dancing. Are you able to teach me to dance? Do you have any rhythm at all? This is going to be yeah, bad. I, I might step on your feet. What are the basics? Okay. okay. Am I going to follow your lead? All right, wait. You're already okay. losing. So I'm just going to, like, we're just going to step. Am I the worst person you've ever danced with? Not bad. Oh, well, don't lie now. Step, step, one, two, three. The step, dance hall is not step. intimidating. So even if you dance as bad as me, people come in so have a good time, right? Yeah, you are okay. All right, so on a scale of one to ten, I'm at least a four, right? Sometimes the dance floor gets back here. It's not right in front because yeah. everybody's standing in front watching the guys. So you got to roll with the punches. You know, some people, oh, it's a dance hall. Well, I couldn't find any place to dance. Well, you might have to dance in the beer garden. I That's don't know. right. It is a dance hall. Are there a couple of tried and true dance steps that everybody needs to know to be able to kind of participate and the, play along? The Texas Tunes Fair. So you are the dancing machine then? Yes. Well, uh, <laughs> The Texas two-step might have been too much for me because the only two I've got is two left feet, but if you're looking for a good time, whether you dance great or you're a novice, Green Hall is the place. It's got history, it's got a lot of atmosphere, it's got great music and cool friendships. Green Hall is definitely not just another PB&J. I'll keep practicing.